Awesome. So welcome to another episode of At the Closing Table. They just closed today on a condo unit in Somerville. First time home buyers. Mm -hmm. From your point of view, how is this process? It was really easy. Uh, talked to Alan. He scheduled all these showings like immediately. Got through all the showings. We liked one of the condos. We put in an offer. Offer got accepted. And then after that, we were ready to close. So yeah, it was, it was really easy. Very smooth, I thought. Prior to going through the situation mm -hmm. or the, the whole process, how long did you think in your head was this process going to be? Um, it's like six to 10 weeks was about the ballpark I was thinking. And I think we were right at the lower end of that. And you already, you, you went ahead and did a lot of research, which I appreciate. Like you, you sort read of. a lot of books. I, after, after we did our showing, I didn't do any research. Then we did our showings and then I read, like, I spent like two days reading nonstop articles about like how to do whole buying stuff. Were there any articles or books that helped you guys yes. out? Yes. Nolo's first time guide to home buying, I think is what it's called. I bought it on Amazon for like $9.00. Is worth it. Um, okay. Describe like every single aspect of home buying. I recommend the book. Get it. Get it on Kindle or get it on PDF or something. <laughs> How many offers do you think, on average, people are putting in before they get one accepted? A lot more than us, I would say. <laughs> but you had to guess. Uh, I would say four to five. You are spot on. <laughs> it is five. So okay. right now it okay. takes about five offers on uh -huh. average uh, in this market mm -hmm. before you get one accepted. Mm -hmm. uh, we were able to do it on our first try. Yeah, yeah. And we got it under asking. That's that's awesome. So you guys want to do an inspection? How was that process? It was awesome. That guy was that guy was so cool. He brought us through all the different um, like talked about the foundations and all the different parts of the house on the outside and the inside. Learned a lot about the house. I think even if you don't, even if you waive the inspection, you should still get like an informational one because I feel like you learn a lot. Yeah. So we used Tom from MKC. Mm -hmm. He did amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about your lender. Sure. Sure. So you guys use Chris Quinn. Yes. Uh, from Redfin Mortgage. Yes. Uh, I've never used him before. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you guys come about finding him? Uh, so we basically went to like five or six different websites, filled out all those little text forms, and said, "Who's going to give us the lowest rate?" And it was him um, by 0.25% or by 0.3%, some, a, a large amount. So we went with him and I thought, you know, he, he got his clothes on time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I called him a couple of times to ask him questions about like filling out his forms. And he was always very responsive, which I appreciated. Chris came through 100%, was man of his words, never missed a single call from yep. me. Uh, called him very strange hours and he always came through. So shout outs to him. For an attorney, you guys use DR Law. Mm -hmm. How was your experience with uh, Rick and Tracy? Um, so I didn't have, we didn't have a lot of, ex like a lot of exposure to them as, as much as we did with you, like a mm -hmm. lot, or as, as much as we did with Chris, our mortgage officer. He seemed great. He seemed fine. I, I don't know. Like it's hard to talk about him because I didn't really interact with him very much or talk mm -hmm. to him on the phone or anything like that. But he seemed, he got the job done. Um, and his fees seemed reasonable. In the world of, uh, real estate attorney, that's exactly what you want. All right. Yeah, you kind of spot don't, on. you kind of don't want to see what's going on okay. behind the scenes. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, but just know that this wasn't a very clean deal, mm -hmm. but we got it done without right. any stress, uh, very little hassle at all. Right. Uh, and we closed on time. Mm -hmm. It was never a hiccup. And uh, you got some additional money in, in, <laughs> in the whole situation yeah, as well, yeah. you know? Uh, so just know that they, they, crushed on on representing you guys that sounds good and i appreciate all that work behind the scenes that you know yeah we home buyers don't actually see so and then and then me how was your experience with me oh terrible no, don't go, <laughs> no i'm just kidding alan is, alan is great i, I think the best like the what sums up alan is we were looking for houses and we sent him i think three links on zillow and like two hours later he called us and he's like i got you back-to-back -back showings on all of those for like two days from now i think that just kind of, that's Alex. The day after. This is the day after. Okay. Yes. The next day he got his back-to-back -back showings for like four different properties. It was insane. Yeah. I would, Alan is a great guy. Go with him. Awesome. I appreciate it. Is there anything you would have changed about this uh, whole process? Nothing I can think of. I feel like everything was very like, we needed this, we got this done. We had this contingency, we got this contingency done. It was very kind of smooth, I thought, at least from our, our end. Mm -hmm. You guys doing the hard work behind the scenes, so it appears smooth to us. So Anything you think I could have done better? Um, Be honest. I, I mean, I, this is my first home time, uh, first home buying experience, so we don't really have like anyone else to compare it to. But we thought the job you did was excellent. So, well, hey, I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate you guys doing this. Uh, I think this is very going to be very great for you know the next wave of first home. Buying. Yeah.